Enthusiastic, but okay. I was trying to be professional for once. <laughs> and something. Oh, man. Uh, good to see you as always. Eh. We're ready to roll. You weren't so happy to see me when I got here, but. Well, it's because you eat, eat all my food. <laughs> <laughs> you eat more than my kids. I do not know why I'm so hungry when I get over here. It's great. It's fine. You're, you know what? You help yourself, buddy. You know, you're a, a brother to me. So you yeah. can you can help yourself to some fucking Cheetos or whatever you want. Well, next time have Oreos. Yes, sir. So, you know how we always say the French are assholes? Oh, oh you're going to go right into a headline. I think I found this headline. I thought okay. it's not so much of an asshole move. I thought it was kind of funny. Well, anything about the French being assholes, I'm supportive of talking about. Go ahead. So, this river, I guess it's popular, called the Seine River. <laughs> The Sin, the Sin River. Is it Sin? It sounds... The Sin? Yeah, you're right. I think that's how El they pronounce Sin. it, but it just sounds bad. It's like the Sin River. The Sin River. Go ahead. This uh, the I used to call it the Sign, but apparently I'm way off. So a charity foundation had... By the way, the Sin River, river goes through Paris. Paris. Yes. I knew for, that. For I you, saw that in the for you, No, no, not you. For you dumbasses out there that don't know. That didn't read. Anyway. Uh, like and subscribe. So a charity uh, called Surf Rider Foundation of Europe claims that they have tested this water multiple times between September of 2023 and March 2024. And they found shocking amounts of bacteria in this Sin River. Not surprising, right? Yeah. So what's frustrating these protests, protesters, activists, whatever you want to call them, is that President Macron, Macron, Macron and Paris <laughs> Mayor Anne Hildago claim that there's nothing wrong with this river. Sure. In fact, they're going to go take a swim in the river to show the people oh. that there is nothing wrong with the river and the river is very clean. So these Paris activists decided, you know what? We're going to show them how dirty this river is and we're going to take a shit in this river. <laughs> and it started out as a joke to make it dirtier to make it dirtier said so that you know what you know they're gonna jump in well we'll just add oh, some shit oh, to it okay so anyway it started out as a, uh, that's respect for their president right and mayor <laughs> and mayor so there was a website and everything it started out as a joke but people started getting serious so much that they actually calculated the times of wherever you were on this river what time you needed to shit in order for it to flow into paris at noon, which is when they were going to take take this swim in the river. This is, I don't know why I'm so, I don't know why, but this is great <laughs> that they calculated it. So obviously it was supposed to happen on the 23rd. So <laughs> I pulled up the website. Oh, 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 it was supposed to happen already. It was supposed to happen on the 23rd, yes. Do, do we know if it did or not? Well, or? per the website, it says the headline is, and I know you don't speak French, so bear with me. It's, Je she dans les signes les... 23 June. Well, sure. Poor. Hold on. Let, let me words. put that into my translator. Yeah. Jeez. That was perfect French, by the way. <laughs> it sounded like Arabic and but I, Portuguese. I did. <laughs> Go ahead. I did jump on another website and found out that the uh, president and the mayor postponed their swims because oh. of other obligations. Sure. <laughs> so it looks uh, like. Other obligations that didn't involve. 3,700 pieces of shit hitting them all at once. And yes, in the river. Can you so, imagine? So it just like, see, it's fine. And then all of a sudden it's like. Just this <laughs> rumbling. You see it. Oh, coming it sounds down your so way. disgusting. All right. Way to go, France. The one thing I heard about this story 
I didn't hear the that. What I heard was they were angry because Sin River is Sin River. dirty. I didn't hear the poo uh, the pro- poop part. The poopy protest. The poopy protest. Yeah. I love it. Paris poop. Paris poop. I heard that people were pissed because the Olympics are going to be there, and that in order to clean up the river enough to have like the, the dam, rowing, the rowing, whatever the hell that is. Yeah. And uh, I respect all of you rowers, by the way. <laughs> uh, but the, the swimmers, uh, the long distance swimmers that swim in the rivers, and it's going to be 1.2 billion pounds in state funds to, to clean it billion up. Billion pounds. Billion pounds, okay. which is, I think it's like 1.8 million if I, you know, if I do the, the calculation correct, the, or the um, rates, the U.S. rates and the, and the uh, French rate. Are the, so dumb question. If I do the... <laughs> Would they have to drain this thing and clean the wall? I don't, that- I don't know how that works. I, I'm not going to pretend that I know anything okay. about this process, Trey. I figured you know more about the Sin River than I would. No. I, well, I don't know about cleaning the river. Gotcha. If it's a draining, like they just pop the... I think it's a draining drain, thing. I really do. The walls I, think, I think that they do something with the water and they, they get just, everything out that's not... Or do clean. they chlorine the shit out of it, you, literally? <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't imagine what's in there. Like, I'm scared to even think about a, a, a small river here in, in our, where we are. What would be in there? Like automobiles, scooters. Or people. Oh, yeah, that would suck, too. You know, dead animals, like shit like that. <clears throat> so I don't know. So they're mad. And so they're saying, after putting us into shit, they're, they're saying there's poverty in, in the streets of Paris and that there needs to be, this money could be spent better than draining a river for the Olympics. And, and they're mad about how much money they're putting in to host the Olympics. I always thought it was kind of cool to host the Olympics. These people are saying no. These people are saying we have people on the streets, we have things we need money for, and you're going to put 1.2 billion pounds into, mm. which well, I don't know whether they're using pounds. They're, they're on the euro. This must be a British publication. Well, can they not? I didn't do, they do not my have research. Indoor facilities? To, well, I guess the rowing is hard to do in an indoor facility. <laughs> can you imagine? That didn't make sense. Rowing like three times and then having to turn yeah. back and go the other way. Just throw them in the throw ocean that's the close way. by. Can they not do that? <clears throat> that would be I guess fun. they could go in the Mediterranean, which is South France. but See if they survive. With all survive, the fucking orcas in. out there. Oh, yes. Don't even get me started. Don't, go, don't get started on the orcas. Either. I am not supportive of, well... Violent orcas. I am supportive because I want to be entertained, but... Yeah. I would not advise using the to go ocean rowing in the, with the orcas. It's not that far from where all those orcas were at yeah. the, the bottom of Portugal there. Anyway, uh, and so that's why they're pissed. And so they're, they said it, they're, after putting us into shit poverty, it's up to them to bathe in our shit. So I, I'm seeing mm-hmm. that this is one of the reasons that... So it looks like there are two reasons to take a dump in the Sin River. Wow. One is they're pissed about the money being spent to clean it. And number two, <laughs> didn't even mean that one. Literally. Didn't even mean that one, is what you're saying. Right. Which is Macron, is Macron how do you say it? Ma- Macron. Macro, yeah, Macroni. In Hildago are saying that it's clean when people know it's not. Right. And they're going to go. Or, Swim we're, in it. We're going to make it not clean. So, oh, interesting. So can you imagine they clean it and then they plan to take a shit in it after they clean it? Do you think they would go that far? I don't know if it's totally clean. Look, at some point you got to be like, look, we're French. We live in Paris. Why would we want to do that to our river? Yeah. It, right? But, you know, we are talking about the French. But they are talking about spending all this money. So they're like, and uh, you. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Bottom line is that Paris is, or France is, is committed to the Olympics. So I can't imagine them being like, mm, Which I would think sorry. would bring money to the city, no? Sure. That's what I thought. Paris is one of the most, the touristy attraction in the world. Yeah. It may be number one, actually. Really? Uh, I, read, I, I thought I like read Hawaii that somewhere. or something, but maybe you're right. But I think the city of Paris, if you went by city, and so oh. um, and so that's only going to add to it. Maybe they're just annoyed. Maybe, yeah, I find that out. Every You know, I've been to France a few times, and every time they, they're almost annoyed that you're there. Yeah. So it's different there. Yeah. French, get your shit together. Yeah. Anyway, Please. let's let's move on. Okay. Unless you have something else to add to the shit <laughs> river. The shit story? No. The shit river. That's, shit what we're gonna, that's what we're calling the Seine from now on. The that's shit river. That's French for shit river. So if I, you hear me say shit river, that's what I'm talking about. Right. Gotcha. During the Olympics. Did you see that rowing on the shit river? It was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody fell in and they were oh, brown. And, poor guy. 
All right, let's do news topics for this week. I've got a couple of them, and I just feel like there's so many that that are going to piss people off, but you know what? Deal with it. People, We're already pissing um, people off on the first one. On all and everything we do, there's nobody that's happy 100%. We need to have like a touchy-feely news story from time to time, something that makes us feel good about ourselves. We do. Or we'll, about We'll, we'll work people. on that. <laughs> okay. Maybe. So get this. There is a cancer charity in Canada. Okay, well, what could be bad about this? Right. They are saying, no, there are people saying this didn't happen the exact way that, that all these news stories, but guess what? I got like 50 sources. So, Well, who cares? It's on our show. We're telling our story. This is our story. The charity is apologizing because apparently they are no longer going to use the word cervix. Oh, I heard about this. Did you? Did you send me this? I'm, I might have sent you this. Okay. I might have sent you this. Instead, they're going to say trans-friendly front hole. <laughs> yes. I do remember you. Yes. Trans, I saw this. Holy shit. Trans-friendly front hole. Trans-friendly front hole. Instead of cervix. Now, what do you think of this, Trey? It To me, it seems a little excessive. I mean, is a cervix not a cervix? Whether or not they want to... I don't think you need a degree to know what you just said. <laughs> I mean, I think you don't. You don't even need a, a, a bachelor's in science. You don't even need an associate's to know what you just said. In my opinion, if it's because they want to cater to any potential trans people, then deal with it at the time. But don't make some sort of. Apparently, they made some on their pamphlets. Uh, pamphlets. Thank you. Fly, you like that? Flyers. And They're you have pamphlets. A master's in writing. I know. Too. Right. Whatever. <laughs> We've already established <laughs> that sometimes I make a, make a mistake. But on the bottom of this, apparently it says we won't be using the word cervix anymore just to to make sure that we don't offend anybody. I just think it's it's getting... How is it's, cervix going to be offensive, it's though? Getting, because trans don't have that. Trans, well, if you're a transsexual... If you're a transsexual man, you would. Unless you... Because you're transitioning from woman to man. No, if you're going man to woman, you right. don't you don't have that. Right. You, but from you're woman saying to you're, man, well, you'll have it. But they don't want it. <laughs> well, I get it, but it's still a cervix until you remove but it. The other side, when they come in as a man wanting to be a woman, they don't have a cervix, so they're going to talk about their hole. <laughs> Even when the surgery is done, it's still not a cervix. It's like right. it's, it's a gaping. It's a <laughs> gaping. I don't know, gaping, but it's a hole. So front hole is what they're saying, trans-friendly front hole. But it's a cancer facility, right? I mean, you can't get cervix cancer if you don't have a cervix. So I, why? Again, I don't get it. I'm not arguing with you <laughs> at all. I'm giving you a news story. Okay. And I think we're getting over the top, right? This is silly. I think this it's is silliness. Silly. Yes. Okay. I let's think this we'll is move on. Silliness. But but it's it's an example of you know just. If somebody comes in and they're trans and they're, they've they had the surgery and they're coming in and they've got cancer down there, and if they really, really don't want you to use the word cervix, then deal with it at the time. Hmm. But go ahead. You look fired up. Well, I'm just saying, it's. I mean, I get it. There's no cervix there, so they wouldn't use the word cervix if there's no cervix there, right? For one, for one case, I'm talking about the other side. Of, who gives a shit? Okay. At this point... All I'm saying is that you you have it where one type of person won't have a cervix, which is a woman who want uh, excuse me a man who wants to be a woman. To a woman. Obviously, but they if won't he, have a cervix, so they can't get cervix cancer, right? Am I missing something? No, but what I'm saying is they don't want to. <laughs> I'm missing something, am I? No, I I think I might be missing something too. Okay, <laughs> they don't want to have the word cervix used because they technically don't have one. So, but I don't, I don't, where it would I, be, but, but used, again, though. but that's the point. Okay. Is this is just because it's a cancer charity doesn't mean that they're necessarily saying cervix cancer, but they're using a term cervix. Anyway, like, like I would assume if I got cancer, I would not have ovarian cancer. Right. So I don't expect you to find a new word for mm. ovarian because mm. I don't have ovarian cancer. What the fuck? Well, thank you. That maybe that we should have done that about five minutes ago. <laughs> okay, because that's exactly the point. Gotcha. I just thought that was interesting that that uh, this charity decided to 
cater to the 0.06% or whatever. It's um, just a weird one to me. Here's a, how about one that's funny? There's a family that went to the zoo. That's pretty funny. It, it, it gets funnier. <laughs> they went to the zoo and they went to see the gorillas. And Trey, you know, when we went to Africa, yeah, you had quite a stare down with a gorilla. Yeah, that they don't little, mess around. That fucker scared me. Yeah. He he didn't take his eyes off you. I mean, if you're seeing me right now, I mean, Trey would move around and he was just literally following him. And I said, "This is between you guys," <laughs> and I was out of there. <laughs> I'm glad you had my back. Appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, not with the gorilla. Maybe something. You know, if it was like a rabbit. I got you. you. Got me. I got you. Okay, go ahead. But so all of a sudden, these gorillas, this <laughs> this big silverback male, came over and mounted a smaller female, and just started going to town. All right. And the kids were there, and the mom on the camera was just like, <laughs> "Whoa!" So first, Trey, I'm going to show you over here really fast. I've got it queued up. <laughs> wow. The ass on Look that at him. Look, look at him. Getting a big guy. That's the, go. That's the people at the zoo. The child is coming to look. Okay. And the child is coming to yeah, look here. I'm, yeah. I'm gonna, How do we know that's the child? Uh, well, could be just a small man. You're right. Monkey. They don't know. So, here, everybody uh, at home, I'm going to uh, make it <laughs> massive. You can see. <laughs> there he is, pumping. He's pumping. Pumpin'. And uh, here comes a smaller. Inspecting it. Inspecting it. <laughs> Look, he's just kind of sitting there. So anyway, this this gorilla decided it was time to get it rolling. Time to go to Pound Town. I just thought that was a really funny story because um, when you just remember when you take your kids to the zoo, animals are natural beings. I'm going we've to the zoo tomorrow now. We've le <laughs> we've learned this from many people that we've talked to recently that animals have Dude. needs and yeah. are just like us. Anyway. So there's that story. Interesting. Lastly, if you noticed, uh, if you listen to the show, Trey and I haven't done uh, Tay Tay talk in quite a while because, you know, frankly, we just stopped caring. Yeah. Right. Um, I, I didn't really feel like Tay Tay, uh, Taylor Swift, for those of you that don't know who we're talking about, deserved the. It's just, it's unbelievable. She's good. Okay, great. The pull she has in this in this world is insane to me. Yeah, it's one person. Again, she's good, but I mean, she's not great. I mean, what is so special that's different than Katy Perry or Oh, Katy Perry? Oh, you you have a thing for Katy? I like Katy Perry. Oh, so did Russell Brand. You're gonna hear me roar. Oh, there you go. Oh, oh, oh. but I like her. I like. I mean, I if I have to listen to pop, uh, but Taylor Swift's taking the world by storm. So get get this. You might have heard this. So in England the other day, I forget when it was, you had Taylor Swift playing at Wembley Arena, which is a pretty big arena. But over in the London Stadium, you had the Foo Fighters. Oh, okay. And I, I'm a huge Foo Fighters guy. I would guy. love to go see them yeah. in the concert, yes. I, I think Dave Grohl, and this will add to, to this, is a, is a genius. I think he's a musical genius. People are pissed off now because of what I'm about to tell you. Dave Grohl at the concert, I guess somebody hit a wrong chord maybe on the on his or he did on his guitar, and he I get I don't know if he knew Taylor was down the street playing in London. Oh, so this was during his this concert. Was during, he said this during the concert. Oh, okay. I didn't during know that. the concert, he stopped and he goes, um, "We have our own Eras tour, which is what Taylor named hers, but it's called the Errors tour. Like I made an error on my guitar, right? And then he immediately says, "But we play our shows live." Oh, okay. A little bit of a slight, saying that pop stars, or in this case Taylor Swift, maybe did a little lip syncing, maybe did a little overdubbing, which pop stars are known to do. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> they just are. It's been that it's way because they do a lot of more performing uh, performance stuff. I assume. Uh, the length of the show, the if she's moving around that much, sometimes it's hard to to hit that the certain notes. And and a guy like Dave Grohl will tell you, well, what am I doing? I'm playing guitar and thrashing around, and yeah, you know. And so it's hard for us too. So of course the Swifties, they came are going out. crazy, and everybody's starting to bash Dave Grohl. Okay, I don't, I don't have a problem with you being upset that he said that. 
But to tell me that Dave Grohl is washed up and not talented is the stupid. Oh. That's stupid. Yeah, that's a little. That's it's stupid. A little overboard. Yeah. The guy is a genius. Oh, if not for Kurt Cobain, you'd be nothing. That's completely untrue. He has three bands that have successful uh, albums. Foo Fighters, of course, being number one, but them Crooked Vultures was one, and then uh, Queens of the Stone Age. All three Dave Grohl bands, and he was a drummer of Nirvana. Right. T- t- don't tell me that this guy isn't talented. He's exactly. very talented. You don't have to like what he said, but he's talented. So there was that news. Uh, he came out, and Taylor, of course, responded with a polite and respectful. Um, you know, her response was more kind of like, everybody that performs on my band and my works their butts off every night to play for three hours. And he, she basically responded to him without using his name, which much respect. That's but fine, yeah. That's fine. And I don't think Dave meant it in like a, I hate Taylor way. I think he was just... I think he was just being silly. I think he was being funny. And I think that he thought maybe Taylor would just kind of laugh about it because it's it's known. It's a known thing. Yeah. You know, a side note. Go on uh, a side note. Tom Cruise actually was at uh, Taylor Swift's concert instead of at his own daughter's graduation. What do you think about oh. that? Oh. I didn't know that. See, I knew that a lot of celebrities had went over. Yeah. London became like the celebrity tour for them. I mean, there was everybody yeah. was there. So, yeah, they showed Tom Cruise coming out of the Taylor Swift concert. Why? <laughs> I guess it, Siri, Surrey, whatever, yeah, her, name whatever is, her name is, was uh, graduating. So I thought that was interesting. That's interesting. Another um, something interesting about this was that Pat Schmier, the uh, Schmier's, I think there's an S. Is that what you put on yeah. bagels? Uh, yeah, exactly. Or uh, or is that what a woman has pap smear? Oh, yeah. When they check the vagina for stuff? His name is Pat Schmear. The he's, cervix? He's the good, <laughs> right. <laughs> no, no. It's the open gaping hole or whatever they're called. Yeah. Pat Schmear's the guitar uh, well, uh, player. He's a bass player or guitar player for Foo Fighters. This is your story. I don't know. Of Foo Fighters. He's a band member with Dave. Okay. Apparently, he was at her concert the next night. Oh. <laughs> So yes. there's respect there, and, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. and that's the point. So it probably was all in fun. It was you know? in fun, and everybody, the, you don't fuck with the Swifties. And no. in, in fact, that was one of the things that Dave said. He goes, I tell you, man, you don't want to suffer the wrath of Taylor Swift. We like to call our tour the Errors Tour, and that's when it started. Everybody knows you don't mess with that. And, no. and, of course, he barely did anything, and he's getting the wrath. So that's news for tonight. What do you think of all that? It was good stuff. Uh, you know, I gave you a little everything. Gorilla fucking uh, Taylor Swift and Dave Grohl in a non-spat. Yeah. And then something about a gaping hole gaping instead of holes. cervix, right? Speaking of gaping hole. I told you not to say that Let's again. go to but her comments of the show. What do you think about Oh, that? that's good. That's a good transition. I like it. And this, tonight, it's, it's really simple. It's going to be about race. <sighs> I know. But we have to talk about it because I tell you what, Trey and I have put up a lot of stuff uh, that isn't just us babbling or isn't just us and our teaser clips for the shows. We put up funny stuff that are things that we think are relevant, especially in this country. Right, Trey? Right. And I put up a few things that, <laughs> that you liked. You came and you said, okay, this is good. About and it happened to be about race, and one of them involved Charlie Kirk, which we know it, it triggers everybody. And for some reason, you either love that guy or you hate that guy. I don't know why, but whatever. So I'm not going to go. Th- I'm just going to go through a couple of these. There wasn't a specific one because there were so many that annoyed me. <laughs> it, it was a video of Charlie Kirk at a function where Donald Trump went to a small black church. Have you heard about this in Ohio? I, I believe didn't. it was Ohio. And he went to a small black church and he did a gathering and he talked to them about what he wanted to do for their neighborhoods. The The big event part of it had a lot of white people. And so you had everybody going, see, there's no black people. It's all white people. Well, are white people not allowed to go to the event? So I started at a church, ended up at a... So, well, it was a church and then they went to like a, a dinner, like a, okay. a in, in the hall, in the hall or the, you know, in the, the banquet hall. Gotcha. Okay. And in there were a lot of white people. Okay, well... There are white people in this country. They just are. And that's what we're supposed to do. Let's all do this together. Oh, my God. You know, and then in response, not all Americans like traitors. Kirk, you are a fool. So Kirk, or Charlie Kirk getting tons. Diaper Trump looks very uncomfortable. 
first off, when they turned it around, I mean, this the, the diaper thing and the poop thing is we got we claim that for Joe, right? Well, there's a does it make him look like he's wearing a diaper? I, I is that what know. you're saying? Is no. that they were going at? I, I I don't know, but it's just like it's like the I know you are, but what am I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come back, and that's what they do. Joe Biden shit his pants. Well, so did Donald Trump. I'm rubber your glue. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Donald's a criminal, enough said. Uh, 12 imported images brought in and paid to be there. Black church with all white people at dinner? President Biden would fill a stadium with African Americans, and not all Americans love Trump. Trump is a racist. See, that's weird. I see a lot of stuff on TikTok lately where it's a lot of black people, black influencers are absolutely disgusted with Biden. So I understand oh, yeah. that. I'm going to get there. Oh, okay. Go no, ahead. no. I, I like it because I'm seeing it too and everybody else is seeing it. But you you still have these people and I guarantee you most of them are white that are giving me these comments. Right. My father's family was uh, da, 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 Trump 24. Okay, so you get you get people that are like it. Convicted felon. Not all of Americans love Trump, which is what uh, Charlie had said. He's a racist. He's shaking hands with non-whites. Doesn't prove anything except he's desperate for votes. Well, what does he have to do to prove it? Like, so he can't at all go and talk with black people without somebody claiming that he's just doing it for votes. So what does he do? What, what changes your mind? Nothing, right, Trey? Well, didn't you say he, he received an NC, or I'm sorry, an NAACP award oh, yeah. at one point well, yeah, in his I, career? I, and I try, I, look, I try and tell these people this, and they, you know, no, he didn't. It, it, it's literally a fact. He did. He, he, I've got pictures. I've got the, the, the article. He got awards for his work in black communities from the NAACP. He did. And in all honesty, is any of this, any of these, this feedback or this, any of them black? Most of them don't. You mean the the people commenting? Yeah. Uh, most of them don't have a picture. Oh, okay. It's It's gotcha. the letter R or the letter L or, you know, some of them uh, are black. Some of them are, are not. Some of them have comics. Is their profile picture? Some of them have dragons. Gotcha. I guess because I'm seeing yeah. so much social media stuff now, where it's crazy. the black community is absolutely against Biden yeah. right now. Well, so. there's this guy. He he doesn't have a picture, but he says, um, "I'm a brother." <laughs> okay. For Trump, 2024, and I just put some. I said, "Hey, this is great, I and mean, this is what we need." And so I'll I'll move on from that. But it's uh, the big the other big thing was there was a lawsuit in 1973. I mean, come on, was it 50 something years ago when Donham was young and him and his dad, there was something about uh, when they owned some apartment buildings where or condos where there was a court case where they apparently used the letter C for colored applicant. And first off, that case was proven that they used different codes for different people it wasn't just the one mm -hmm. if it was c for colored i you know i don't agree with it but it was 1973 okay things were a lot different <laughs> doesn't mean he's racist he owned a condo and he was doing what he thought was best as, a, as an owner of, of, a, of a, a building if that was the case i don't i don't support that but I keep getting that. That's what people keep saying. That's why. That's the only thing that people have said. The only reason they give that he's a racist. Back when he was a kid. Back when he was in 1973. I mean, it's just like okay. There's been a lot that's happened since, like his awards from the double in double ACP. So, the the part that I wanted to get to was the next <clears throat> one of the other videos I posted, which you were talking about. These two black people on this video. They're really funny. The, the dude's really hilarious. He's got our sense, of, our dry sense of humor. Mm -hmm. And the girl's going, we're here in Detroit at these, because Trump went to Detroit and did a lot of black events. And he wanted to talk with them and he wanted to, to I'm going to help with the city. We're going to do this together. And this this black girl, there, it's two of them on the camera. And the black girl goes, you know, uh, I had some white woman come up to us and try and warn us that there are a lot of Trump supporters here and that we better be careful. And she and she goes, uh, well, why? You know, why is that? And um, and then she said, little did she know that we were here to see Donald Trump. <laughs> like we were, we were here. Like she was warning them as if she did. Like like they didn't know where they were. Right. Like you better be careful over there is a Donald Trump event. Well, the, yeah, we came to see it. Right. Um, and the and the dude, the black dude goes, I've never been more scared in my life. I was uh, worried that uh, all the Donald Trump, the MAGAs were going to come at us. And he was really funny. 
and it was some white woke whatever and she and she just tried to warn him to warn him out uh, to warn him and it just it's a, hmm. it's one example and these black people are like then she she goes uh, i love how she assumed that we were from detroit we're not from detroit we came to see donald we're not from here yeah uh-huh. but you know what i'm saying like so this big white woman uh, uh, i keep saying big because she, she referred to her as a big white lesbian woman and said so she was throwing all the stereotypes out I'm there. Abs- that, there you go. And that's the, that's the problem. So this one person responded, and it, and it hit me. People will say, oh, I doubt that's true, but, but who are you? This girl goes, I'm Spanish, but I look white. Her profile picture is there, so already more credibility than half you assholes that have a T or an O or some shit. She goes, I was walking in the woods with my boyfriend at the time when a white liberal lesbian told me I was racist because I was wearing an American flag shirt. I was really surprised that all of that came out of her mouth. Then she spit on me, calling me a racist. Holy shit. Calling me that was very ironic. So, I mean, I I have no reason to not believe this person. I don't, I mean, she has a lot of detail, Spanish, but looks white. But that's what's happening. And even if this story and you don't want to believe it, if you're on the other side, I'm seeing it. American flag. We've got to take our American flag back. Who are, The left says this. Who, who are you guys? That's you, wild. You fly Ukrainian flags, Palestinian flags. Over, Come on. Support Hamas. Support Hamas. And, and wearing an American flag T-shirt makes you racist all of a sudden, Trey. And, and I just, I'm seeing these comments and people, Trey and I, are growing. We're growing, and I'm seeing lots of interaction and lots of comments, and I love it. But my God, there's some craziness. That's wild. This yeah. this country has issues right now, yeah. and, it's, and it goes beyond basic. What makes me mad is it diminishes real racism. Absolutely, yeah. You're throwing, you're calling me a racist because I'm voting for Donald Trump. I don't That's, understand it. It makes no sense. He's not a racist, which leads me to this, Trey. We need to go shit in a river. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna go shit in the sin, wherever that is. It leads me to this. Here, I'm gonna give you a couple of these. I'm not gonna give you all of them because there's so many. This is what Biden has said over his 40 years, at different times, in politics. How about this? If you have a problem figuring out whether you're for Trump or me, then you ain't black. Meaning, black people should be for him. Poor children are just as bright and talented as white children. Wow. Okay, I don't need to say anything. If my opponent wins, they're going to put y'all back in chains. Unless we do something about this, uh, court-ordered busing, by the way, my children are going to grow up in a jungle. Damn. This was back in the day when they were busing busing black children into white schools to, uh, to bring them all together. Right are going to grow up in a jungle, the jungle being a racial jungle with tensions having built so high that it's going to explode at some point. Unlike the African-American community, with notable exceptions, the Latino community is an incredibly diverse community with incredibly diverse attitudes about different things. You cannot go to a 7-Eleven or a Dunkin' Donuts unless you have a slight Indian accent. Damn! I do not buy the concept popular in the 60s which said, we have suppressed the black man for 300 years. Geez, the reason I was able to stay sequestered in my home is because some black woman was able to stack the grocery shelf. I, I'm going to stop. That's all you need. It, it, it goes on and on. And this is Joe Biden. Has anybody been able to give me a quote from Donald Trump even close to this? No, right, Trey? Well, didn't Kamala Harris actually call him racist and then... Sure. Oh. Turn around and back him. Anybody that's uh, that's run it, that's uh, gone against him in any type of election has called him that. And everybody, wow. I mean, it's right here. And they these aren't this isn't made up. These are quotes that you that on video you can hear him saying. People. Wow. So don't tell me that it's wrong. It, you can see look him up on the video. And if you, if I must do it for you, I will p- try and put it on social media if you don't believe me. But there you go. Interesting. That's so Donald really Donald Trump's a racist, but Joe Biden is for the black people, the black person, right? Anyway, I hope anybody that's black that's listening to this show, uh, we love you, and and just man, think about this because it's just 
anyway, it's not what you've been told, and and uh, Joe's not the guy, right, Trey? Right. Uh, and, and Trey and I just really started out disliking him just because he ate a lot of pudding, and <laughs> and now I'm starting to learn a bunch of stuff about this guy, and I'm not I'm not a fan. No. Speaking of blowjobs. <laughs> Right? That's a segue. Speaking of blowjobs. Wow. Let's talk. <laughs> you know what I'm going to say. Oh, absolutely. Okay. Do you want to talk about it first? No, go ahead. <laughs> I'm always I talking. just want to hear you say it once. <clears throat> okay. If we don't talk about this, we're idiots because this is somehow taken over. Blowing up. It's, it's screw the election. Screw Hamas and the, this whole... Middle East, racism, none of this matters, except for this young lady who is known now as the Hoktua girl. <laughs> girl. And this girl's name is Haley Welch. I think she's quite attractive, Trey. What do you think? She looks like an attractive girl. <laughs> I think she's super hot, and I'm not afraid to say it. Um, she went on a, a video that went completely viral on TikTok. And it was some, and I and I wish that it was us, <laughs> that was it, that had a mic held out to her, but I think it was another show or another podcast. And I hate to not give them credit. We'll do it at a later date when I figure out who you are. <laughs> but and you talk about me and my uh, my skills. I don't think anybody cares who the person with the <laughs> recorder was. They care about the girl, right? And they held it out and they said, well, what do you, what's the one thing you do to make a man, I guess, happy or make a man excited or something like that? And she goes, Huck Tua, you spit on that thang. She said it thang, right? Yes. And that thang. has some, for some reason, I don't know why, has become viral. <clears throat> uh, uh, memes are being made videos are being made i mean we posted one that i thought was really funny today about it with her saying it and and uh and donald's reaction i'm gonna make you go watch it uh but, but it's hilarious and this girl is she just she's from nashville tennessee uh nobody everybody's trying to find her official instagram and her official youtube and all that i think she's gone I think she's pulled them down just, just well, because of all this. But I tell you what, if somebody's pulled them, if somebody, if she's pulled hers down, somebody's put some up mm. that, that are fake and they've already got like 50,000, you know, people and, gotcha. and it's that fast. <clears throat> so, um, but she already has a deal with um, a brand called, Fa I'll give them, a, I'll give them a plug. Why not? Fathead, reach out to us. Trey and I'll do it for a lot less than the, the hawk to a girl. Uh, Fathead Threads. And she's already got a, a contract with them to team up to sell their merchandise. <sighs> what do you want to add to this, Trey? I, there's really nothing to add except this girl goes viral for that. If you were interviewed on the street and you made a blowjob sound, would we go viral? <laughs> or does Maybe it, in a different way, but... <laughs> do you have to be a hot girl? You probably have to be a hot girl, I would assume. Well... I mean... I don't know the gay community might welcome us. I don't know. Maybe. Um, I'm just saying I can't believe that that went viral and uh, we have such great wisdom and it hasn't gone viral. Well, I think, you know, I was showing a video on TikTok where the guy's like, you know, I think it's going viral just because it, a, a girl comes out with some personality. You know, you see so many videos these days of just women just shaking their ass and getting thousands of right. views. And we get this girl that comes on with some personality about how to please a man. And it's just, I guess, a change of um, the whole culture a little bit, you know, as far as what's popular, you know. And it it, it was just, I don't know. It was, well, she uh, was fun. Yeah, it was fun. It she was, a she fun was fun comment. and yeah. had personality. Yes. So I think that was fun. And, and I have been told before that when it comes to you do a good hawk to her? No. Well, <laughs> I won't. Anyway. Um, well, that's the rock. I mean, that's the one thing you <laughs> That's the one thing you want in a woman is uh, uh, enthusiasm. Okay. You know? I you were going to say something. I mean, she brings that enthusiasm. Right. So, and, and that's... And she that's, was cute. And yeah. she was, yeah. So, I mean, any any woman that has... And, and I'm hope... I'm Well, I shouldn't say hope. I'm, I don't know if she's like this sexually 
or if she was just having fun with the camera. I don't know. She's got to be. You would think, right? Don't ruin something this. like that. Don't ruin this for every man that's seen this clip because there's something about it that you're going, okay, and and it worked. I mean, it got, it gets guys. Other well, other yeah. other guys that aren't happily married. Any woman that's enthusiastic <laughs> like this is going to get a guy riled up, right? Right. So I mean, what I want to know, and you and I were talking about this earlier um, about this hawk <laughs> to about let's just call her Haley. About well, or hawk two is I guess more fun, but we'll call her Haley out of respect. Um, Haley is was a teacher is that right preschool teacher <laughs> a preschool teacher yes and that leads to a quick debate i want to have with you about this because you and i disagree that she should have been fired and you're saying that the school that she worked for asked her to resign yes is that correct that's what i read yes no i don't know why i'm taking this side because it seems very obvious that you would ask a woman to resign <laughs> if she did that or got caught doing that but I'm not. I'm going to take the other side, which is I think that that she was not. It was not during school hours. There were no children around. If you're letting your child watch TikTok videos, it's on you. Kind of like back with that comedian. Uh, what was his name again? Matt Reif. Oh yeah, good memory. And yes. I'm, yeah, I don't know where that came from. Yelling with a six year old. Well, if you're letting your six year old on TikTok, it's on you. Uh, kind of deal. So I'll let you go first. You think that she. It was legitimate to let her go. Yeah, I, I mean, and which is weird because I don't have kids, but I mean, I have no problems with the video. I have no problems with her enthusiasm um, towards uh, blowjobs. Fellatio. Um, but yeah, I was thinking as a parent, though, you know, especially preschoolers, well, obviously the kids aren't going to understand what's going on, but, you know, I don't know if I would feel comfortable with, you know, my nep- nieces or nephews going to a school where this is a teacher that, you know, not that she would teach this in her class, but, you know, I, I'm i fine with the fact they made her resign. I, I don't see an issue with that. Mm. I, don't, I don't have anything against the school for making her resign. Do you think that other preschool teachers give blowjobs? Let's hope so. <laughs> Let's hope so. For the sake but of their they men. don't come out publicly saying well, but how they give blowjobs well, either. That, it wasn't so. really how. She just, just a little... I was curious to find out if it was a religious school, but I didn't. I didn't see it. But um, regardless, well, I mean, in that sense, you know, if you get enough parent pressure and you have things like that, I, I get it. But I just feel like people are allowed to have personal lives outside of their work, and as long as they're not hurting the the, the company. Now, in this case, if the school felt like they were getting pressured and that they looked bad because of it, I guess it makes sense. I just feel like you got to go. All right, this is an adult. A video on TikTok, not an adult video, but a video that these are preschoolers. They're not going to see it. They're not going to understand. Like you said, do they? You think they know what a hawk tool means when she, you know, spent on that thing? It, first off, that's really bad uh, grammar uh, pronunciation for being a teacher. But whatever. I don't know. So that's it's just my a side sound of it. effect, though, not the tua. Right, that was onomatopoeia. Yeah. Is what that's called. Trying. Okay, how you spell that? <laughs> Don't, you know, I used to, I used to be able to fire that out and I, oh, oh yeah. Do you think the dads are upset that she resigned? Probably. I think, the, oh man, can you imagine your kid being in her class and yeah. you're the dad? You're like. It's not, it's not meet the parent uh, tonight. Yeah, it's yeah. not meet the teacher tonight. <laughs> uh, honey, I'll go get the kids today. Yeah. I uh, know. So we, we needed to talk about that. And I think that, uh, and, and we'll, I'm going to keep an eye on this and see how long this lasts because I'm fascinated by the fact that it went viral like it did. Quick, yes. Quick. And, and just for, for, again, what I just said, automatopoeia, which is, do you know what that is? Technically, it's making a sound. It's the sounds. So boom, bang, slam, uh, you know, like Batman, like the oh. old Batman. And it, when, you're, when you're spelling out a, an actual sound effect, if you will. And getting the visuals of it? And getting the visuals of it. So when she goes hawk to a representing, that's representing her spitting yes. on a penis. <laughs> now, I did. In case I, you didn't know. I did see <laughs> some, some TikTok videos about this where men were talking about. Now, if you hear a man with that <laughs> to spit on it, because usually you're hawking something up. Oh, you're talking about gay, gay uh, uh, fellatio. No, 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 no. I'm oh. talking about. Oh, I mean your oh, wife, your receiver, your wife, your girlfriend, okay. your significant whatever. They, you hear them go. 
I mean, even a gay man. I don't know if I want somebody to hock something on there. I like the enthusiasm, but maybe a little spit. Like, pfft, mm, but I cannot no. believe I'm. I can't believe I'm going to take this any further than this. But <laughs> I'm going to tell you what that is, Trey. It's. <laughs> but literally, it's you're the beginning. Up. No, no, hold on. No, you're not hocking anything up. When you <laughs> no, when you, all you're doing is you're getting saliva, no. to lubricate. I can get saliva with a. <laughs> well, but that's not. She thinks it's sexier when she does the the hawk. I mean, I understand the enthusiasm, enthusiasm right. behind, but I don't. I don't. She was think trying she to actually hawk something up. Though. Probably not in the interview, though. She, okay. That's how you have to. You know, what if she just she was went, having fun with it? Yeah. If if she said you just give him a little, like that's boring. Yeah, I but see. Goes, I see your point. That's. I could be wrong. I maybe, see your maybe point. Maybe she though. what? Maybe she likes to hawk stuff. I don't know, Trey. Um, but if I was a woman or a man giving a blowjob, <laughs> I don't I don't think I'd want to hawk or spit or do any of that. So. No. Um, good for you, Haley. Good for you, whoever. Can you imagine if she has a boyfriend? I think she does. And oh, really? Can you imagine if he, like, how do you feel about that as a boyfriend? Are you proud or are you like, oh, really, babe? Like, what the fuck? I probably would get a laugh out of it. You get a laugh, yeah. you think? Or half of me would be like, yeah, that... That was on me. Or I'd be pissed saying, babe, you've never hock looted on me. <laughs> yeah. Who are you talking about? Right. <laughs> anyway. Was this before we met? Yeah. Oh, that's funny. All right. Um, I mean, such important news tonight. The hawk Lua, hawk Lua girl, the, the shitting in the, the Seine River in Paris. <sighs> Let's talk about the first debate <laughs> in our country between our two candidates. You will hear this after the first debate. This show will not be out in the next 48 hours. I can when is the debate? Guarantee you What's that. the date of the debate? The deb- date of the debate is going to be June the 27th, which is two days from now, 8 o'clock p.m. Central Time, which is all that matters. I don't care if you live somewhere else. Do the math yourself. The uh, Biden strategy for the last couple of weeks leading to this debate... <laughs> Too many jokes there. I'm not even going to try. Yeah. He's hunkered down at Camp David. You know, can't the, where the president goes and no one knows where it is. It's okay. like a secret place that you can haul a president. And he's got advisors training him. But if you know it, can't you just Google it? No. What? Huh? <laughs> Nobody knows except like six people in the world. So if you can't Google Camp David, it won't show up on no. your Google Maps? No. You should try it <laughs> after the show. Um, but he's got people that are training him. I imagine like Rocky Four when he's in the cabin. <laughs> Can you imagine and these he's poor training. people trying to train him? Uh, they're training him. Wake and they're, up, they're, Joe. They're giving, Wake up. <laughs> they're giving him questions. And apparently he's trying, you know, he's working on his delivery and he's working on this. I don't know. No, we're it, not going to Disneyland today. Uh, we're getting ready for a debate. I think they may be testing out different drugs on uh, <laughs> which ones to use for the debate. No, he slept longer on that one. No. Yeah. Something yeah. He, fe- he, he fell asleep 45 minutes in. This is an hour and a half, which, by the way, is an hour and a no, half. No, you can't mention the hawk to a girl yeah. in your speech. <laughs> Would that be more like Don, Don, Donald will mention that. God. Um, this is going to be fantastic. The problem I have with it, uh, well, let me go ahead and tell you, it's it's in Atlanta, and it's it's being filmed and done and and given by CNN. And anybody out there that that follows anything knows that CNN is a very liberal anti-Trump network. So mm-hmm. I'm not quite sure how that works and why they got it, and if maybe Fox or one of these other sure, more, money more has something pro, to do with it. Well, maybe more pro Trump <laughs> ones are going to get the next one. Cause there's supposed to be three debates. I, I don't know, but to me it seems like, and all, you know, this is a little bit, I'm not going to say unfair because I'm not that guy. I'm not going to cry about the calls by the refs. He's going to go do it. And he's going to be there and it's going to be Jake Tapper and Barbara, not bar, <laughs> not Barbara. Can you imagine? Uh, she passed out before. Who passed out quicker, Barbara Bush or Joe? <laughs> Wait, in Barbara, didn't she pass away? Re- rest in peace, Barbara. I apologize. Uh, uh, I'm thinking about Laura, George W.'s uh, wife. Either way, um, so they're they're being hosted by these two, and they're very liberal. They're very left. They've come out against Trump, and and yet they're the ones asking the questions. Okay, fair enough. Um, he's he's going to go. He's agreed to do it. 
But Joe Biden's camp said, you know what? No studio audience. That, that could be an advantage for Donald because his followers are crazy and they'll come in and, and cause a scene. So all of a sudden, they say, all right, no audience. They're just basically catering to whatever Joe wants. So he's already got CNN, you know, uh, what do you call them? The, the, not announcers, but the, uh, they're giving the questions. Dang it, that's going to bother me. People, Moderators? Are, moderator. I think that's what I'm looking for. Thank you. Masters. Of it's not. Yeah, it's not great for my vocabulary this evening. But everyone can fuck off. I don't care. <laughs> they are going to. This is this is the part that got me the most upset, Trey. And I think it might you as well. They're going to mute the microphones when it's not <laughs> their turn to talk. <laughs> and I'm very upset about this because what was so fantastic from an entertainment perspective, which is right. what we care about, right? We, we care about our country, but we want to laugh and be entertained, was the fact that they both couldn't shut the fuck up when, <laughs> last time. They were yelling at each other, come on, man. Uh, do you shut up? And you, Joe, what are the bullshit? I mean, it was awesome. So now I be, so now it's going to be funny is when he, they mute one of their mics, they're going to be still screaming. You're going to still hear them. It's yeah. just going to be, it's going to be nothing because you're not going to be able to tell what they're saying. Yeah. <laughs> Greatness. Um, there are no opening statements. Okay. Okay. So they, when they walk out, they're just questions. Boom! Right into the questions. Who comes up with these questions? The 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 CNN the, the really? people that are given the debates, and that's that's the issue. And I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to complain. Again, I'm not a Trump apologist. I'm um, I'm just that's who as of now I think we're voting for because I don't feel Biden is is uh, the right choice for this country. He's proven it. We will talk plenty about it as we get go further. But get this, this is the funny part. This is how I'm going to relate the debates to sports. What was very interesting to me, Trey, is they had a coin toss. To see who goes first? To, well, two things. You got to choose, kind of like in football, you can choose which side you defend first, right? Or you can just, whether you take the ball or not first. Right. So Biden wins the toss, of course, right? Has, has anything gone Donald's way for this, this but he's still going to be there. Was the coin toss televised? <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. No, do we really know he won it? So I think Joe made a, a bad play here. He chose the right podium to the to the the view of the camera. So if we're watching it on, on TV, he wants to be on the right. Okay. Okay. On our right side. Right. And so okay. Donald will be on the left, which is the way it usually was like last year. But what that did is it gave Donald the option, because the other option was who gets to close last? Who gets the last word? Oh. And Donald's like, uh, I want the last word. So I think Joe fucked himself. Yeah. I think I think you want that last word. You want to want to leave with a bang. Right. You know what I'm saying? But Joe might be asleep by then. So <laughs> he, might, he might want that for get his shit out <laughs> before he falls asleep. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> he just can you imagine he gives his last statement and before Donald even he just starts to, he just walks off. <laughs> Got his ice cream and shit, chocolate chip. They forget to turn off his, his <laughs> microphone. All you hear is... <laughs> <laughs> or his chocolate chip. He's like, oh, is that chocolate chip? Fuck yeah. So Joe, the, keep your pants on. Keep your pants on. So since this is going to be... Um, you're going to hear this after the debate. Let's predict something. Just predict something. Give us... What do you think, Trey? What do you think... How do you think it's going to be? Um, and then we'll see if we're right or wrong. Do you think it's going to be... Absolute chaos. Do you think that the, these commentators, whoever this is, it Dana? I don't know what her name is. I'm sorry, whoever, whatever your first name, but your last name is Bush or Bash. I don't know. My handwriting wasn't good. Jake <laughs> Tapper and this other bitch, <laughs> this other woman, excuse me. Do you think they're going to be able to control it, to control it, or do you think it's going to be chaos? Do you think it's going to be crazy? Do you think that either candidate's going to make sense? Is it going? Is is it going to? Are we going to turn it off going, it's not going to, that's not changing anybody's mind. You're either going to be Trump or Biden and nothing happened, nothing changed. I think that's, that'll be the case. That's going to be the case. I'm curious to know what the over under is for how many, what the fuck comments or what the fuck did Biden just say? Here we go. This is what we need to do. Over under two. 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 What the fuck comments? Over under. Only two. Are complete phrases or just like a couple words? We'll say because a couple w- a couple words. I think the over under is like fifteen. <laughs> we'll say a complete phrase. We'll give right. him a shot. Like, 
or how about a question? A question. Two a what? Qu- two what the f- did he even answer the question? So two over under two answers. People go. What the fuck what? did he just say? Now I'll admit that Donald in the past and, and a lot of politicians. Mike Pence was terrible at it, by the way. That the the Donald's old VP. You know, he'll be like, "Well, I'll get to that in a second, but let me go back first. And they do that a lot. They, it's like they can't let go of what they need to say, and so then they waste all their time on a question that wasn't the question. Right. So Donald might do it too, but in a whole different way. Joe is going to try to explain it, and it's not going to make any sense. That's where I was going. Donald's with it. just going to talk about something else because he wants to talk about something else. Right. He's <laughs> he's going to be like, "Fuck your question." This is what, what I, I want to tell say. you. Yeah. And and that over under is at like four. <laughs> four for over under for four for Donald. Four for Donald. Is to, two to, for, too low for Biden, do you think? I don't know how many questions there are. Let's do two and a half so that two is. You, okay, two and you a half. If you take the under, you win. Uh, uh, three you, is the over. And I'll do four and a half for Donald. Four. Wow. No, okay. three, and, three and a half. Three and a half. Three fair. and a half for Donald. I'm telling you, I. I don't mind Donald like everybody else, but when he gets in this debate, and it hopefully proves me wrong, and you ask him a question about, you know, uh, especially the abortion, the Roe v. Wade thing, he's going to sidestep that. That's the biggest thing that's that's hurting him. Yeah. All the women are like, unite, screw him. I can't believe our rights are taken away. And I'm like, but Donald, he just gave it to the states, and he he used to be a liberal, and he doesn't care, and it's not about that. And well, if he didn't care, why did he give it to the states? Because he's, you know, he's going to be pressured by the Republican Party, which is what he's running as. Gotcha. I, I think he's more like us, where he's in the middle. He's independent. He's kind of like issue by issue. I think if he had a choice and he wasn't pressured by that party, I think a lot of there'd be some decisions that people might go, okay, maybe I can get on board with that uh, from the left. And that's, that's, a good take. that's what I keep start, trying, to, trying to tell people is that he's anti-establishment. I'll end, I'll end with this, Trey, and then let, let you finish up. I think that the establishment, when I say that word, is our government the way it's been for years and years and years and years. I think that includes both the right and the left, Republicans and Democrats, and their pockets are lined. These people go in as president and and senators, Hillary Clinton, and they come out and they're the millionaires. I mean, some of them hundred millionaires. Mm-hmm. How? Yeah. President only makes four hundred grand a year. Right. How are you? How are, how do you have that much money in your pocket? My opinion is they're lining their pockets, and they're in it with each other. And to a sense, I mean, you, in a sense, you have George W. taking pictures with Obama. Well, they hated each other, or, or did they? And so I think Donald's coming in saying, "Well, screw this. I'm going to blow this up." Um, he doesn't need to line his pockets. First off, right? Maybe some legal fees. <laughs> But he also got a lot of, of support from his his uh, his fans. I hate to say fans, but his supporters. Uh, when when he was convicted, I mean, he raised almost like record setting money. I don't know if you knew that. I did. I heard about. And that. so, I think he. That's why nobody likes. That's why you get all these Republicans also who are like, oh, we won't vote for Trump. The, the left hates him, and they, they they're scared. They're like, oh, the, our whole our whole setup's going away. That's my opinion. Interesting. It's, it, Call me conspiracy theorist. I don't think it's quite a conspiracy. I think it's more of just a let's let's think about this. Why do the Clintons have so much money? Why does Obama have so much money? He wrote a book. Is, is, is mm-hmm. that is that ninety million dollars? Was it that good? <laughs> anyway, I didn't even know he wrote a book. I heard. A I rumor. think he did. I think his wife did, and whatever. But I heard a rumor that um, what was this gentleman named the uh, ran Mr. Ramaswamy, Shimishwamy, uh, R- Ramaswamy, Ramaswamy, Vivek, Vivek Ramaswamy. Right. They're talking about him running as uh, vice president. And that he'll be his selection. I yeah. know that's coming soon. Donald's. I heard a rumor about that. Donald's supposed to be picking soon. And I have you, my opinion. Can on you who I want? Imagine him up on the stage trying to pronounce that name. <laughs> who Biden or? <laughs> Either one. Donald, either one. Anybody? Well, Donald will practice. Uh, I think Vivek is a, a very intelligent guy. He's very smart, and I think he's a little cheesy. Mm. If you would tone the cheese down a little bit, I think I... But, but he's smart, and, he, and he's got good ideas, and he's kind of been kissing Trump's ass. I think he wanted... The, he knew he wasn't going to get it, and I think he wanted the VP 
spot. Uh, my opinion, and I'll just say it really fast because I don't think anybody really cares. <laughs> Um, I want Tulsi Gabbard. I don't know. I, and I sure you how know much I know. I don't know if it's Gabbard or Gabbard, but she's been on Joe Rogan a few times, who is our colleague, right, Trey? Gabbard. Um, Gabbard. I call, <laughs> I say Gabbard, Tulsi, and she was a Democrat, Trey, in Hawaii. Okay. I think she was the governor, and she left the party because of how fraudulent and crooked they that she feels that they are interesting so you have a then you would have a vp not only as a woman and she's very smart don't get me wrong it's not just because she's a woman she's very intelligent she has great ideas. she's one democrat i would listen to and go okay i, I can see what she's saying and i'm going to listen i want to i wanted to listen to more gotcha because like i said i'm middle i'm neutral i want to hear what she has to say and so she it has been rumored also uh, very lightly, and I don't think she's going to get it. I wish she would, but I think Donald would be smart to kind of get a, a woman who can say, I used to be on the left. Fuck that. That'd be interesting. Uh, who who have you heard? Have you, you mostly Just, heard the Vivek? Yeah. Do you have any... Do you, do you care? <laughs> yeah. Are you going to watch the debate, though? <laughs> Unfortunately not. Um, oh, you I, have something to do, probably. Yeah. Oh, but you got to tape it. God. I, well, I'm sure it's going to be everywhere. Did I just say tape it? Yeah. What am I in 1980? Yeah. yeah. Are you going to put a video in the VCR? Get my VCR ready. Record it. Well, I've, of course, I've got to watch it for the show. So. Well, watch it. Not just for the show. This is going to be fantastic entertainment. How long is it going to be? Ninety minutes. Okay. Really. <laughs> anyway. I didn't realize it was coming up don't on that day. Don't worry, people. I'll I'll get the coverage for you. <laughs> I'm going to see a movie. Okay. I think there are maybe six people that want to know, but what movie? <laughs> uh, the new Bad Boys movie. Is there a new Bad Boys movie? With Martin Lawrence. And well, I'm aware of who's in the Bad Boys movies. I'm aware. But Will Smith still got a career? Or yeah. Mm -hmm. Hopefully it's funny. <laughs> I wonder if he slaps Martin Lawrence in the movie. I guess we'll find out. Um, so you're going to go see that Thursday. All right. Well, you have plans on the night of one of the biggest <laughs> political. We said there's going to be three, right? I, got two I think other there's going to be three. Uh, but I'm looking forward to it. Seriously, dude. You, I know you're going to tape it because it, it is going to be entertaining. Um, but anyway, that's what we're predicting for the first debate. Again, me giving you the date and time didn't do shit because it's going to be out after <laughs> it's all over. Um but just to let you know that we actually do know what we're talking about. There you go. Some of the times. Some of the times. Uh, love you guys. I'm going to I'm gonna go ahead and give you this quote. And I'm tired of people that are... Is this the quote? Yeah, I'm going to give you a quote. Are you, do you have something else you'd like to say? No, I'm just saying I'm tired. You said I'm tired of. I didn't know if that was the start of the quote. Yeah. Or no, no, no. This that's is you not just the quote. ranting? No. This is uh, anybody that hasn't listened to the last couple of shows. I, I'm going to end the show with quote, with uh, anonymous quotes that I think are fitting because I can't seem to stop talking. So if I do a quote and we say goodbye, there it is. Done. By the way, like, subscribe, all that bullshit. Yeah, follow. It just comment. The lines are going up. I promise you, 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 you want to be a part of this. <laughs> be on the right side of podcast history. Hey, donate. <laughs> Donate. Well, I don't have that set up yet. But oh. as soon as we do, be ready. Save up now yeah. in a special fund. <laughs> for, <laughs> the Go fund for us. We'll yeah. do a Go fund. Um, but anyway, uh, fun show. And uh, as always, have fun with you, my man. Let's um, not in a in a hawk to a kind of way, but I, I enjoy your company. I can't wait to hear this one. No, it's it's not. See now you set it up. I, I just, I'm tired of all the inspirational shit. I've had kind of a, a, a couple of months where I'm just like, you know, I'm just going to tell you how it really is. Yeah. Life is a video game. No matter how good you get, you always get zapped in the end. <laughs> I guess you're right. Yeah. Mm. That's good. So far, until that changes, that's my quote. <laughs> We're getting zapped. Love you guys. Later. <laughs> Nobody is here.
yeah, just the facts and the fair. We look at both sides to our best to compare. In this podcast realm, where we compromise. Balance is key and the facts don't lie. Stay in the great where perspectives intertwine. We seek the truth in the gray we define. In this podcast journey, minds open wide. Shades the truth on this impartial ride. You know how I pretend to look at uh, this while the outro music is playing? Yeah. I'm just watching this gorilla fuck this other gorilla. <laughs> like, it's intense. He's pumping. We should have had over under how many times will the hot to a girl oh. get mentioned in the debate? Once? Do you think she gets mentioned once? One and a half. That's the over under. Ooh. Let's watch. Let's watch. I'll go over. Are you under? I'll go, go under. Under? I'll go under. Trey's going to go one. I'm going to go two. All right. Uh, it's all going to be Donald. <laughs> Love you guys.